Hey guys, all day today, we've really just been doing storm prep and getting ready. As y'all see here, I've got my system set up and ready to go as soon as the power go, goes out. We're pretty sure it's gonna go out. But I have put together a video of something that I shot two, three days ago. It's a repair I'm gonna have to do next week. It's actually scheduled for Tuesday. But here comes the diagnosis. Go get my tools i'll be right back okay this one is freezing up y'all forgive me i got real bad heartburn i'm gonna turn it off out here and hopefully the, it'll thaw out a little bit it's not freezing up out here here we go Coming in. How low do you set your thermostat? Mm. Um, not right now, but in the future, yes. What is normal is normally between 72 and 78. This can fill up with water and it'll shut it off. All right, so I got just a little bit of a dilemma here. If I thaw it out, it's gonna heat up in there. I'd have to run it 20 minutes in heat and it's already a little bit warm in there. We'll see, I might do it. We'll All see. Right, I have my orange wire out. It should be energized for cooling. All right, so now if we put power to it, it's gonna run in heat. The heat strips are not gonna come on because the thermostat thinks it's running in cool. pulled the float switch out so the float switch is not gonna make it cycle off I 
ice in the drain and a lot of water can cause it to stop and you gotta wait on a time delay do it all over again true head pressure mm. I'm sorry y'all couldn't see some of what I was doing Head pressure is going to have to build. I'm going to explain something that's about to happen. Right now there's ice on the coil. It's keeping head pressure from building. That ice that is touching the coil will melt. And then it's going to have like a hollow space where there's no ice. Maybe just a little bit of water, but there's ice all around. where it was touching, preventing airflow. So this pressure here will start to go up. I'll bring you back in just a second when it starts to do that. Okay, it's been about four or five minutes. This pressure is higher, but I can still tell we got ice cooling down the coil because with a suction like this, um and the temperatures i have inside if i had zero airflow and no cooling on that coil that head pressure would be a lot higher it would be pushing five six hundred and right now i'm not sure if i'm going to get that high we will see i'm about to go in and check on that coil draining pretty good. It's actually thawing quite rapidly right now. Those are my pressures. I don't know if I'm going to see the 500s. If we're low on Freon, we may not. But, um, it's I've only got a few more minutes of this and we'll be done. Okay, we we had a pressure of over 400. Let's um, run it in cool real quick. So basically I'm just hooking the orange wire back up. Let's see if we get something remotely normal. These are my pressure so far. 81 on suction. Looks like we got a normal head pressure. It has not thought out yet. It 
sit out here for a little bit longer all right guys i put it back in cooling i have a normal head pressure somewhat normal sub cooling but look at my superheat and my suction pressure let's go in see what kind of metering device we have and make sure there's no more ice No more ice here. Very little ice on the core itself. None over here. That's actually not touching the core. We have us a TXP. Turned it off. Okay, now that we know that there's no ice on the coil, actually touching the coil, there's a little bit in there. There's some on the capillary tubes. But as where the airflow is, very little ice. And if it was significant ice, I would have zero superheat. But what I've got is a depressed subcooling, really high superheat and really low suction. So I've got kind of normal subcooling and really high superheat. That indicates to me that we have a restriction and that restriction is in the TXV. I do hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this hurricane doesn't devastate any of the viewers. It's going to be bad around here. Uh, we remember Hurricane Michael and how bad it was. Um, so y'all keep me in your thoughts tonight. Um, tune in to HVAC Nights. I probably won't be there, but if I am, it's going to be right in the middle of this hurricane. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch you on the next one.